<laughs> Struggle streaming already. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to how to go live, even if you don't want to. It's giving <laughs> faceless. <laughs> We're talking about branding, marketing, uh, repurposing your content, and tapping into hot topics so you can get your work and your offers noticed. Whether you're a live stream newbie or a pro, we'll show you how to engage and to make a major impact. Even on those off days, let's turn that hesitation into an opportunity to get those eyeballs on your brand and get it started. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, beautiful. Here we are. So I want to talk to you about going live or even posting your videos like ASA right now. So if you look right here where I have my handy notes, this is what we're going to be covering. But I wanted to you to, guys to pay a close attention to this for a second. Now, a couple of weeks ago, these were in the double digits and it was nowhere near 200. I so... <laughs> What I want you to do is get beyond yourself and I want you to start posting up content. And one of the reasons why I know that this was working was because I was posting in my shorts. <laughs> Not literally, <laughs> but I was posting in the shorts section of the YouTubes. And as you can see, I've had some crazy things go on. So we're jumping from 46 22, 52, 39, and it's jumping up and down like a bobblehead because there was, for lack of a better term, there was no strategy here. It's just, let's just throw whatever at the wall and see what sticks. And I've learned that you can't even go by that because when you don't get as many views on your shorts as you believe that you should, guess what? If you start putting up videos, delving deeper into what that topic is or that um you know the things that the, the tea that they're discussing in current events as we used to call it when i was in school um then you might get even more views than you ever noticed so two of the of these uh topics which i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about number one the closest one to us is how this blank book became a bestseller about the achievements of Kamala Harris. <laughs> I told you I'm not getting political, but I'm just showing you. What is wrong with your thinking if you believe that you don't have anything to offer when someone was clever enough to put together an entire book, people, an entire book of over 90 pages where over 90% of those 90 pages were blank. I'll wait. It's a New York Times best, excuse me, not New York Times. Let's not play games. This is an Amazon.com bestseller in the political uh, space or genre, which is amazing, okay? I'm watching this on the evening news. This book right here, that's 90% empty, they're selling it at Costco's, people. What is wrong with you? You better get your contact out. Get your content out there. Do it scared, do it, just do it, just do it. So why are we talking about this one? This one is really along the lines of what I want us to talk about and pay attention to. And I'll shut this off because I don't know what YouTube standards are for playing stuff, even if it's yours, right? But we tapped into the Diddy situation. And if you're anything like me, I love kids and kids come from people. And one of the parents of uh, the Diddler's children is now passed away. The only people I'm thinking of are those children. The only thing people I'm thinking of is Kim, right? And a lot of people are. But here's the thing. Here is how you take a situation and you look at it, you observe, so you can see how you can flip content so you can cash in as well. Now, I'm not saying, absolutely am I not saying, take advantage of a situation that is disgusting in and of itself. But what I am telling you is that you should pay attention to how this was done. Because when you go over, if you go into the study that I showed you or how to do it, you will see this book was not the only book that was out. And they're saying there was an overnight sensation. No, it was not because this book was out almost a month before all of this stuff hit the fan with the diddler, right? So 
if I were to look at this and be discouraged, I could sit and be discouraged that only four people liked it, wonk, wonk, wonk. Or I can go back and I can look at how I went over this at length, how you guys can do it as well. I could cry over 49 views, 32 views, four views. Um, I think that's private. I'm not sure. But anyway, look at this. Same cover, same language. 1,400 people in counting looked at this video. What does that mean? Keep posting. And when you do post, I want you to keep in mind that as you're posting and what you're talking about, it should be something called evergreen. Meaning that people years from now are going to come back and look at how can you repurpose content? Oh, I see Diddy. Oh, I see Kim. Oh, I see this white guy with a black person's name. I'm just saying. <laughs> they're going to look at this because they're going to want to know how they can repurpose their content, number one, save their time, improve productivity, and oh yeah, by the way, be hip and cool. And this information is not going to change. How to create content, it may change, it may go faster. And that's really one of the reasons why I'm talking to you today. But I want you not to be discouraged, but I want you to begin to start with your shorts, create content that is, you know, like 45, 60 seconds long, start from there, see what sticks, and then the things that get the most playback, the things that are more in line with what you do as a business, as a brand, then you begin talking about those things because they're in the news, which usually runs like a three week span in the news cycle. But when you add your piece to it and how folks can better their lives, businesses can better their uh, standard op operating procedures by what you are teaching them, then your content becomes evergreen. Then folks will begin to follow you because they're like, wait a minute, she's talking about this, 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 and this? She's talking about what to do just in case Bing goes down? And I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't know where you live, but right here in New York City, they're tampering with the internet. Oh, it doesn't mind whether you paid for it or not. The internet is going to go crazy. These platforms are going to go sideways. You've already seen it. So you need to prepare, meaning you need to start anteing up when it comes to what you're offering so that you can meet your people on and offline. Okay, so let's go into what we're talking about today. And we'll preface this with one of my favorite people uh, who has since passed away, uh, the one and the only six-figure chick who said, listen, before your income becomes passive, it has to be proactive. <laughs> so how do we do that? How do we create content? How do we build? How do we brand? How do we grow and then do our glow-ups? We do this by doing our due diligence first. Say that four times for good measure, because if you don't, you're going to be in quick do, 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 do. So what you want to recognize is who's your audience, a.k.a. who are you talking to and what are you saying to them, right? Are you talking about marketing? Are you talking about branding? Are you talking about whatever it is your business does for a living? The most important thing you have to get under your belt and into your content is who you're talking to. One of our avatars happen to be a service provider. They may run some sort of business, a home cleaning, a mobile beauty business, a mobile bar business, you know? Uh, it's really important to know what their interests are offline, meaning when they're not working, and what their interests are online. So when it comes to their business, they're interested in getting more clients and customers. They're interested in improving their client management and operations, streamlining that so that they can put out quality content without being tethered to their device all day or the mindless scroll. Yes, we all have been guilty of at one point or another. So you have to realize who you're speaking to on what platforms because the way I speak to my audience on YouTube may be completely different from the way I speak to the guys over on the Facebooks or LinkedIn or IG and the like. So it's really important that when you are speaking, 
that you understand that you're speaking the language the way that they receive it and you need to be on top of that despite what your offer is or despite what you're trying to talk to them about on that particular day so when i say that we need to be proactive before our money and our uh, income is passive we got to do the work right so even in creating you know the video for the intro yo i had to go to a little chat gpt let me see let's go let's go and what did we do we created our voiceovers is that this one no this is where we created our uh video before we actually went live we did a short and this was the video it was about 140 uh characters lo words long and we told people this is what we're getting ready to do do you want a website you want a web page do you want a logo do you want all of them at one time well we're doing a 20 to 30 minute class and you could be one of the people that we choose to get all of this done from one piece of content and we're going to do this in about 20 or 30 minutes do you want to be involved very simple very simple but it's only simple when you know how to do it it's only simple when you know what to do and you know don't be fooled by that because you can know how to do it when to do it with whom to do it and still can't get it done because you don't have an implementation process in tow and that's what we're here for so 11 minutes and 29 seconds so here's what we did i said look chat I need for you to give me a breakdown of a 20 minute live broadcast and it spewed out this information. My intro is supposed to be three minutes. How much was, how long was my uh, intro? My intro was about 32 seconds. I'm not playing games. I'm going out or I'm coming in, going out. That's what we do because we want to get this done because the quicker I tell you how to do this, the more time you need or you have to get it done right so in the first three minutes we're welcoming viewers we're giving them an overview of the session and we're talking about what it's about then for five minutes we'll be talking about automating their business and what are the types of uh software programs or uh you know my offer that i'm giving them that they can use because everything is in one place we'll walk them through that process and we'll highlight tips and tricks that they can use to integrate all of these tools so that they can leave the lever go on about their business and the sales will still start chiming well after their live their post their webinar, whatever it is that's out there. For the next six minutes, you'll be talking about enhancing their online presence. And then for the last five minutes, you'll be talking about leveraging AI and growth and we'll be demonstrating the tool. So what are we doing here? So like I did when I first started, we're leveraging what's going on uh, in the day, tea, tips, uh, hot topics, the current events whatever you want to call it and then we're reviewing how that information if you're looking at it right how you can use that to repurpose information and get it out to people or your audience who are clamoring for it right and then as we go through this process we're actually demonstrating what the tools are so how i walked you through how you need to go into doing your shorts and then following up with doing your videos and then following up with showing folks how you do what you do all of that should be included and it should be thought about and well planned out before you even think about hitting that live button and some of you can go live right now because boo boo i have 194 f subscribers why let's click on this i'm not lying to you boo boo this wants me to go live i don't know i don't know i don't know so what i'm telling you is if you put out good content youtube is looking at you like okay push the live button and we'll see what happens we'll give you the data because the dollars are in the data and you just adjust what your uh your how the way you put your content out according to the data that you're going to find in your analytics and then finally you're going to wrap up with your q a and even if it's not a q a you're going to have folks go to a place that's not on the platform that you're on you want to get these folks 
into your email list, onto your text messaging list. You want to get these folks offline and into your, uh, 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 what, are, what do they used to call it? Your Rolodex, <laughs> your address book, if you will, so that if anything happens, you can always get in contact with your audience, your clients, and your customers. All right, so that's my time. It's about 15 minutes and 12 seconds. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and put them in the comments. And remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you can see when we're going live next or posting new hot content next so you can see what goes on in the community because we're always going to be giving you away some sweet sauce in the back. Talk to you later. Be good, and thank you so much for your time.